okay replace the loading on the frame as shown in figure by a force and movement at point a okay so this one it is coplanar non concurrent force system okay so first of all calculate the resultant of the force magnitude magnitude of resultant magnitude of resultant magnitude of resultant magnitude of resultant okay so rx is equal to rx is equal to that is summation fx is equal to so otherwise you can say first of all sum of all horizontal forces sum of all horizontal forces horizontal forces horizontal horizontal forces sum of all the horizontal forces sum of all the horizontal force if the direction of force it is right side it will be take positive the direction of force it is positive it will be take positive if the direction of force it is left side it will be take negative okay it will be take negative so sum of all the horizontal forces that is rx is equal to rx is equal to summation of fx is equal to summation of fx is equal to summation of fx is equal to so here it is only one force it is acted on in horizontal direction so this one it is horizontal direction that is 200 newton it is going left side so that's why it is minus 200 newton okay so now take sum of all vertical forces sum of all vertical forces vertical sum of all the vertical forces vertical vertical forces sum of all the vertical forces so here we need to assumption that's that force it is upward it will be take positive if the direction of force it is in upward then it will be take positive if the direction of force it is in downward direction then it will be take negative if the direction of force it is in downward direction then it will be take negative okay so that is r y is equal to r y is equal to summation f y is equal to summation of f y is equal to summation of f y is equal to summation of f y is equal to f y is equal to so first it is 300 newton it is going downward direction so minus 300 then second it is 200 it is also going downward so minus 200 then third one it is minus 400 okay so third one it is that is 400 it is also going downward direction downward direction okay so ry is equal to ry is equal to that is minus 300 minus 300 then minus 200 minus 400 that is minus 900 newton minus 900 newton okay then calculate resultant so r is equal to resultant formula r is equal to root of root of root of root of rx square root of rx square rx square that is summation fx square or or summation of x square plus plus ry square plus ry square that is summation fy square summation fy square is equal to is equal to is equal to root of root of root of root of rx square it is minus 200 square in bracket in bracket in bracket minus 200 square minus 200 square then plus plus minus 900 square plus in bracket minus 900 square minus 900 square okay. minus 900 square so it will be r is equal to it will be get from this relation so r is equal to resultant is equal to r is equal to so in bracket minus 200 square plus minus 900 square it will be get root of answer it will be 921.948 newton okay so this one it is the resultant of this g1 force system okay this is magnitude of resultant so now calculate direction of resultant direction of resultant direction direction of resultant 
direction of resultant that is direction of resultant that is tan theta is equal to tan theta is equal to r y by r x r y by r x r y divided by r y divided by r x r y divided by r x means summation f y by summation f x summation f y by summation f so r y it is minus 900 minus 900 divided by r x it is minus 200 r x it is minus 200 it will be minus 200 minus 200 okay so 900 divided by 200 it will be minus minus it will be get cancelled so 900 divided by 200 it will be 4.5 4.5 okay so theta is equal to theta is equal to tan inverse tan inverse 4.5 tan inverse 4.5 Tan inverse 4.5, 4.5. Okay, it will be get theta is equal to that is the direction of resultant. Theta is equal to if tan inverse 4.5, that will be 77.471, 77.471. Okay, this is direction of resultant. Okay. Then next one calculate movement at movement at A. Movement at A. Movement at A. Movement at A. No, movement at A. Movement at A. So movement at it will be take movement at a. So for that assumption, when the movement it is clockwise direction, it will be take negative. The movement it is in clockwise direction, it will be take negative. If the movement it is in anti-clockwise direction, the movement it is in anti-clockwise direction, it will be take positive. The movement it is in anti-clockwise direction, it will be take positive. Okay. So here movement at a. So first at a it will be there is a couple movement. Movement at a MA is equal to right now M is equal to so first of all that's 300 it is 300 into perpendicular distance it is zero at po from point A so that's why it will be zero 300 into zero zero so that is 600 newton meter it is couple load so how it is rotating it is rotating anti clockwise direction so it will be plus okay then second one it is that is this one 200 newton load so 200 newton load how it is rotating about the point A about the point A, it is rotating here. How it is rotating? It will be rotating clockwise direction. So clockwise, it is we are considered it is negative. Okay, so that's why minus minus moment it is force into perpendicular distance. Two hundred into perpendicular distance, it is three meter. Okay, then second one it is. So now it will be take this one four hundred. Okay, so four hundred it is how it is rotating about the point. Okay, so this one it is also clockwise. Okay, so this one it is also clockwise. So that's why it will be minus 400 into perpendicular distance. It is 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 it is 7. Okay, then last one it is that is 200. So it will be take this 200 Newton law. Okay, this one 200 Newton law. Okay, so how it is rotating 200 Newton about the point A here? This one it is also clockwise direction rotation okay clockwise direction so that's why this one it is also minus 200 into perpendicular distance about the point a okay so this one it is perpendicular distance about point a okay this one it is perpendicular distance okay here yeah, this one it is perpendicular distance about point a it is be 2 meter okay 2 meter okay this distance it is 2 meter so that's why 200 minus 200 into 2 so it will be get movement at a Movement at A is equal to so 600, 600 minus 200 into 3, then minus 400 into 7, then minus 200 into 2. 200. So minus it will be minus 3 to 0, 0 Newton meter. Newton meter. Okay. So 3 to 0, 0 Newton.
Newton meter. So moment it is in. Can write down moment it is in. Negative indicates it will be clockwise direction. Sorry, anti-clockwise direction moment. Sorry, sorry, it will be. So we are considering it is clockwise. It will be negative. So it will be clockwise moment. Okay. It will be clockwise moment. So we are written it is positive and we are indicator it is moment it is in clockwise direction. Okay. So now location of resultant. Location of resultant. Location of resultant. Location of resultant. Okay. So for that, this is nine. 921.123. Okay, so just I will here put R is equal to 9. 921.9 54 Newton. Okay, this is result term. Okay, so now apply apply Verignon's theorem. Apply apply Verignon's theorem. Verignon's apply Verignon's theorem. Verignon's theorem. So what say Verignon's theorem? Summation of movement of all the forces, movement of all the forces about point A, movement at A is equal to is equal to movement of movement about point A of resultant. Okay, movement about point A of resultant. Okay, so resultant. Okay, so just consider. Location of resultant heat is here. We just assume this one it is resultant. R is equal to it is R is equal to it is 921.954 Newton. Okay. So this distance it is just assume about the point A. This resultant distance it is just assume this one it is T distance. Okay. D distance. Okay. D distance. So we got positive value. That's why we show the resultant it is in upward direction. Okay. So now moment at A it will be three two zero zero. Moment at A we are calculated three two zero zero three two zero zero is equal to. Okay. Actually this one it is summation of moment. Okay. Moment of all the forces about point A. This one. Okay. So resultant moment it is how it is rotating. It will be. Anti clockwise direction. So 921.954 into D into D. It will be get from this relation D distance. Okay. So D is equal to calculate D is equal to D is equal to 3200 divided by 921.954. It will be 3.4. 3.470 meter. Okay. This one it is location of result. Okay. Location of result. So just show it is location. This distance D is equal to it is 3.470. Okay. 3.470. D is equal to it is 3.470 meter. Okay. This one it is location of result. And it is located between 200 to 400 newton. Okay. So Magnitude of resultant is 921.954 Newton and direction of resultant it is 77.341 Newton. Okay. And D it is 3.470 meter. Okay. So it is from point A. Okay. So this distance 3.470 it is point A because we have taken movement from the point A. Okay. This is your final answer.